Hey everyone and welcome. Recently we've been teaching you a lot of aggressive paths and decisions that you can use as early game junglers which can score you big leads in the first couple of minutes. Today we'll be showing you a safer route that you can use on tank junglers and efficient farmers such as Graves, Kane, Olaf, Rek'Sai, Gragas and so on, which will get you all of the good stuff that you want with a relatively safe path. So if you're sick of getting one shot by high damage champions in the early game like Lee Sin or Elise, then you need to learn paths like these which can have you avoiding the enemy jungler, while stealing camps and even looking for ganks yourself, getting you through the early game. And here's the path. The good stuff this offers is to stay on pace with your levels, put you in a great spot to get an early gank or counter gank, get vision of the enemy jungler, and also has a solid first recall timing. Let's jump into it and find out how to execute this jungle path. So here we have our challenger jungler starting on the red buff. And of course, he is Nunu, one of the tank junglers this path is good for. With this clear, you will always want to start red buff, regardless of what side you are on. And that's because your end path will have you invading the enemy Krugs with the possibility to gank from a flanked position right after. It's worth noting that doing red first is nearly always best unless you're doing something really specific since it allows you to win 1v1s versus blue starters, gives you level 2 gank pressure, better sustain, better clear, and so on. Most low elo players start bot side for the leash even if it's the blue buff, which is okay if you're not confident with your early clear, but we think that the red start is better. Anyway, after doing red, you will either clear raptors if you're a jungler that starts talisman, or you will kill the two small wolves if you start machete. You could stop to kill all the wolves, but you get the XP that you need for level 3 with the little ones, and killing the big one costs you around 10 seconds of tempo from your primary goal of this route, which is to secure the scuttle, safely invade, and look for a gank. With raptors or wolves dead, it's time to head right over to the scuttle, arriving at around 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Now something which just kind of happens with this route which is pretty cool is that the opposing mid laner they award this brush by 1 minute 10 to 1 minute 30, at least most of the time, right? And you're going to come down here at about 2 minutes 20. Now this ward lasts for 90 seconds, so they are going to spot you when you come down here, and they will spot you kill the scuttle crab. And that is totally fine because they're also going to spot you go ahead into your blue buff, and you know being your bot side jungle so you come over here you go into your bot side you kill blue and then you come back out but by which time it's going to be around three minutes and this ward will have expired so it just kind of goes in that false sense of security that you're still in your bot side jungle but you actually came straight back out and then into the enemy jungle to continue this route so the scuttle was dead and he heads over to the blue buff and into the enemy jungle as planned you may be questioning things like what if Kha'Zix can test Scuttle and so on and we will get to some potential questions soon. Now that Nunu is in the jungle, he immediately places his ward at the opposing jungle entrance. This is one of the key things about this route because it allows you to get a deep ward on the enemy jungler to lower the chance of any surprises. It's worth noting that if you're afraid of pushing up this far to ward because you think the jungler might come or the mid laner is getting shoved in, then you can do a shallow ward which will still cover the jungle entrance around here. Even if this ward doesn't spot the Kha'Zix, that will tell Nunu and his team that Kha'Zix is topside. And if it doesn't spot Kha'Zix for 30 to 45 more seconds, then it will also tell us that Kha'Zix is probably invading topside Krugs as well. Anyway, he proceeds to take the enemy Krugs, concluding the first key phase of this route. Now after clearing the Krugs, um, you can actually go ahead and look for a gank on bot lane if they're pushed up far enough, and if they're not in a good gankable position, then you can just go ahead and walk right past and go into your bot side jungle, clearing your Gromp and your Wolves. Now the great thing about this is that because you're from such a deadly flank position, uh, in this case the Zyra Varus, they're actually in a gankable spot despite being so close to tower, Nunu can go ahead and go over and at least try to force a flash, or if not, maybe even land a kill, because they also have good engage uh, from the Brom Lucian as well. In this case, he sees the enemy bot lane in a gankable position and goes for it. Let's take a look.
After the gank, it's time to return to Botside Jungle and take the remaining Grump and Wolves, and that's a general path that we wanted to teach you today. But of course, you'll look to adapt how each game is going, and we're about to see some adaptation from our Challenger player. So this is the point where you will usually want to reset and return to your topside jungle. But since Nunu has great sustain, he goes ahead and clears raptors and then checks to see if the new topside scuttle is still up. Now he's invested time checking scuttle, he can loop back into his own jungle and clear Krugs which is still up, since Kazakhs backed off into his own jungle after diving top earlier on. This turns into a full clear cycle, killing red buff again into a blast cone flank in the top lane, securing him a full item buy on the first recall, leaving him in the best case scenario. Of course, ever since clearing bot side after the first clear, this has all been situational decision making, so let's refocus on the initial route and try to answer some questions that you may have. First, what if the enemy jungler can test Scuttle? Below High Diamond, most players will start bot side for the best leash and they come to contest Scuttle right after, even though it's not efficient for them. In this game, Nunu knew that Kha'Zix would likely path bot to top, since for Kha'Zix it's just inefficient to go over here, trying to kill Scuttle and then go all the way back to topside jungle, and especially since Kha'Zix doesn't have crowd control to reduce Scuttle resistances, it's just quite slow. Nunu actually used Smite on the Raptors to get down here a little bit faster, but if you're anticipating a Smite fight, then you would want to hold your Smite while taking this path to go and win a potential Scuttle contest. Regardless of if you win the smite fight, every good path has options to fall back on. You can pull back and either look to clear your camps and head to Krugs, or get aggressive and steal blue buff, secure topside scuttle, and so on. Now the second question that you may have is how do you transition off this opening path in a standard game? So we saw our challenger player clear bot and go to raptors and do all of these things topside before recalling. But usually, you would have to recall off clearing your wolves or raptors due to having lower sustain or just losing health inefficiently. So here are a couple of scenarios of how you could transition. Um, so after you loop back in, you kill your Gromp and then you kill your wolves. Uh, that would be the time that the uh, next round of raptors are coming up um, and also uh, scuttle crab. So you'll want to have a look and see where the next scuttle crab is spawning. Because if the scuttle crab is spawning on the opposite side of the enemy raptor's spawn, uh, then the jungler will have to make a decision of what he wants to go for, and they're probably going to go for the for the scuttle crab. And that's your window to go ahead, take your raptors, and then path down, and then steal um, the enemy raptors while Kazix is topside. Now another scenario which could play out is the scuttle crab spawning on the same side as their raptors, uh, which would probably mean Kazix will come down here and go for the scuttle crab and that would prompt you to come down and actually contest that scuttle crab. Unless you just want to avoid the enemy jungler, in which case you could say, hey, Kha'Zix is probably going to be bot side now, and that would leave you to go do your raptors, look to invade any remaining camps topside, or look for a gank uh, in the top lane as well. Now to give you one more example before we close this one out, we can take a quick look at a different Nunu game where he is up against Graves and follows the same path but with a slight deviation. So again we see him start red, clear raptors with smite, come down immediately to bot side scuttle, this time he skips taking his blue and goes straight for the invade. He does this because he scouts grave on top side scuttle and he only has 8 CS which means that he's done red into blue skipping raptors. So he goes ahead and wards the entrance brush and steals raptors into Krugs. And then ends up pressuring a kill onto the MF and heads back into his bot side jungle for a full clear. Alright, so that's it for this one. If you have any questions then let us know. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.